How's it going, clinical researchers? I wanted to talk to you really quickly about what a regulatory binder is. So what is a regulatory binder? A regulatory binder can be paper or electronic. In the future, they're going to be increasingly more electronic. And they, ho they house all of the site regulatory documents. This is the 1572, this is the investigational brochure, this is the protocol, this is the protocol signature page, this is the investigator brochure signature page, financial disclosure forms, delegation logs, training logs, SAEs, SUSARs, informed consent approvals, literally everything that goes into a regulatory binder, lab manuals, everything goes in there, master IP accountability logs, these are hosed, housed at each site, and it's particular to one study and one site. A really easy, quick tip to think about regulatory binder is anything at the site level that is not actual source document with patient data in it goes in the regulatory binder. Uh, but there's also the source document itself, okay, the original, the templates, can go in there. Also, the contract and budget are supposed to go in there, but any of these things can be filed anywhere else at the site level based on the site SOPs, as long as there's a note to file in the regulatory binder. So it's very confusing. Hopefully this clarifies it a little bit.